Kiora, Telofa, Malele, Bula, Aloha, and welcome to Season 10, Episode 6 of Breakfast Bites by TableForDigital.com, a wrap of Pacifica People Sports News on Saturday morning, 6 July 2024, where it is clear and 23 degrees Celsius at 5 a.m. Coming to you with tons of anisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the blue continent. In rugby union, test rugby this weekend. The flying Fijians beat Georgia 21-12 early this morning thanks to their tough forwards and sparkling backs. Samoa beat Italy 33-25 in Apia Park yesterday. Later today, Fijiana 15 to uh, Fujitsu the Wallaroos at 5.55 p.m. For the New Zealand All Blacks, Enzo England, followed by the Wallabies, the Walloping Wales. In Rugby League, NRL games yesterday, Brisbane really needed to win this one um, last night. But uh, when it really mattered, it was Penrith who came up with the big plays at Suncorp Stadium. Kevin Walters' men led 6-4 at halftime, but didn't trouble the scoreboard in the second half as the three-time reigning premiers showed their class with a gutsy 14-6 win, leaving the Broncos' top four chances on life support. And in Coffs Harbour, the Gold Coast Titans upset the Cronulla Sharks 2016. Today we tip the Bulldogs to Wooloroo, the New Zealand Warriors at Echo Stadium, the Storm to Wooloroo 2, West Tigers at uh, Leichhardt Oval, and the Cowboys to Malulubar, Manly in Townsville. In football, the Euro 2024 quarterfinals in Germany this morning. Spain are through after beating Germany 2-1, with midfielder Mikel Merino heading home the winner in the dying seconds of extra time. In the second quarter final, France pipped Portugal 5-3 on penalties after the teams were locked nil all after extra time. Bye-bye, Ronaldo. Tomorrow we tip England to swizzle Switzerland and the ne- Netherlands to Tropo, Turkey. At Wimbledon, Carlos Alcaraz mimicked Jude Bellingham's celebration after fighting back uh, against France's, uh, Francis Tiafoy in a five-set epic. The defending champion was in real danger of uh, exiting in the third round as he trailed the American uh, two sets to one, but in a game sprinkled with some salivating uh, shots and powerful serves, it was the Spaniard who got the edge. 5-7-6-2-4-6-7-6-6-2. Meanwhile, Emma Raducanu, Raducanu moved into the last 16 with an easy straight sets win over Maria Sakrai in a centre court match which uh, reminded the British public why they fell in love with her. Sakrai is a number nine seed at Wimbledon and a tricky prospect for the best, let alone a player currently ranked 135th in the world. Except Raducanu is no normal world number 135. And in combat sports, exercising my authority as president of the WBC, I am hereby expelling Ryan Garcia from any activity with our organization. We reject any form of discrimination. I fear for Ryan's well-being as he has declined multiple attempts for, uh, for our help with mental health and substance abuse. WBC President Mauricio Suleiman expels troubled boxer Ryan Garcia on his ex page. In sports biz, the Uruguay USA game in the, the group stage of Copa America drew 3.8 million viewers, the best audience on record for any Copa America game uh, on English language TV in the US. It's also the best soccer audience on record outside of a World Cup game. Copa America is averaging 1.1 million viewers across Fox, FS1 and FS2 to date, up uh, around 48% from the same period in 2016. Fox Sports is also seeing a 31% uptick for the UEFA Euros just ahead of the quarterfinal round. 
In the Paris Olympic Games, the U.S. Olympic trials for gymnastics, swimming, diving, and track and field from June 15 to th uh, 30 averaged 2.9 million viewers across uh, NBC and USA Network, up 58% from the same coverage in 2021 ahead of the Tokyo Games. NB NBC in prime time averaged 3.9 million viewers, up 24%. Uh, from 3.2 million in 2021. Last Sunday, U.S. track and field trials averaged 4.5 million viewers as Sydney McLaughlin Levrone set a world record in the 400 meter hurdles. That helped the eight nights of the track and field trials on NBC to an average of 4.5 million viewers, up 38% from the 2021 trials, which averaged 3.2 million. Meanwhile, the latest report on pollution levels in the Rhine, uh, River Seine, site of the opening ceremony and the triath triathlon, confirmed the river was still unfit for swimming with uh, levels of E. coli, an indicator of fecal matter, was 10 times acceptable levels, according to AFP. President Macron and the mayor of Paris have said that they will swim in the river before the Olympic Games to show that it is safe. Aha, uh -huh, but what if Monsieur Macron is no longer le président? <laughs> That's a wrap, peeps. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica Sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo and kakite for tableforedigital.com. I'm Calden Kamea. Thanking you all too much for all your love and support. <laughs>